Uh, my name is Joshua Fletcher. Uh, I'm one of the uh, current SAP mentors and I work for an SAP partner and national IT service provider in Australia. And I'm based in Perth in Western Australia, which uh, no one ever goes to. Great. So what brings you across the sea to come over to this SAP inside of in, in Amsterdam? Yeah, so I was invited to speak. I actually uh, presented on three topics and uh, I uh, came last year to BI 2012 in Milan as well. So uh, I've uh, come to this conference before and really enjoyed myself and yeah, came to uh, provide some uh, presentations. Very good. So the highlights then from your end over the last three days, um, what, what would they be if you could capture it? Yeah, so um, definitely reconnecting with a lot of people and, and meeting new people. I always enjoy doing that and, um, and I've got to meet some, some really great people over the last few days. Uh, in terms of the presentations, um, there was a, a great one uh, on Tuesday from British American Tobacco, Mark Cooper, and really enjoyed that. And that was a, a complete um, Bob J, BI4 and, and BW uh, implementation and how they approached it and the tools they chose. And it was very comprehensive. Um, and it was a global rollout um, or you know very large scale rollout. And I really enjoyed that. And then uh, to contrast, um, uh, DuPont, so uh, Jason Cale did a, a similar presentation about how they approached uh, an implementation of business objects on top of BW and, and they took a slightly different approach in their tool choice and it was good to see those kind of contrasting scenarios. Okay, interesting. So definitely the case studies that have been presented have been a key. Definitely, yeah. And then um, there was also a presentation this morning by Don Loden uh, on information steward specifically and that's a really uh, new interesting area for me. Really enjoyed that and uh, Don went into a lot of detail about what's in the product and and what's going to be coming and then um, I just attended just came from a session by Ingo of course you know I had to see at least one session by Ingo he does uh, quite a lot and uh, uh, that was on design studio and, and that's a really you know, great new area of the portfolio and I enjoyed seeing that and I, and I think that kind of leads me quite quite well into the next question because information steward design design studio you know these are really quite new new words in the, in the BI portfolio so where do they fit in in, in this this landscape of BI Yes, yeah, so, um, so you have the EIM and the BI portfolio. Um, in the, the BI portfolio, so the front end presentation tools, Design Studio is uh, the new dashboard and application development uh, tool for um, business objects. It's been uh, specifically written to be HTML5 and, and mobile compliant out of the box. Uh, at the moment, it's still 1.1 uh, was released last week, so it currently connects to HANA and BW, and it's multi dimensional wear, which is something uh, that the current dashboard tool, formerly known as Excelsius, uh, it doesn't have so it's their kind of roadmap tool uh, and later on we'll see some conversion uh, convergence of Excelsius in the form of known as Excelsius and Design Studio into into one tool uh, Design Studio going forward okay and, and what, what are we looking at in terms of maturity when do you think this is going to be an actual you know really uh, so I, I know customers product. are using it already and, and we're actually starting to see a lot more sample or um, uh, examples of develop, dashboards developed with Design Studio coming out and they're looking really really good um, I mean, there's still things coming and, and uh, Ingo touched on what's coming in the, the next release later in this year and there's some, some good stuff coming in terms of offline scenarios, um, extending the, the kind of calculations at the dashboard level uh, and integrated planning is probably going to be a big one for customers. So I think it's, if, if, if you're a BW customer, you should definitely be considering Design Studio now uh, and HANA as well. Um, it, I, I just don't think the dashboard design tool Excelsis, it doesn't really have what you need from a dashboarding tool if you're using BW from the multi-dimensional capabilities. Yeah, and I think I think you, you you're going to lead that into the, the next question. You mentioned Hana, of course, and you know back back at Sapphire early in the years, Hana, Hana, Hana uh, was the word of the, the day. So, um, where does that fit in then in, in the design studio, the information studio, and yeah, BI in, in general uh, from? from what's that? Yeah, so uh, most of the tools in the BI portfolio are now um, really well integrated with Hana. Um, there's a couple that are, are still coming along, but something like Explorer connects directly to, to HANA and that works really, really well and it's very powerful to, to see that work. You know, I've um, done some uh, examples myself where I've loaded like 150 million records into HANA, running on a cloud server, put Explorer on top and it, you can navigate through all those records, you know, in sub-second. Um, that kind of stuff you just can't do, you know, without HANA. Um, so definitely the integration's coming along really well and then on the EIM side, um, we're seeing the latest versions of Data Services and Information Steward have both gone into ramp up 4.2 and both of them have included a lot of capabilities around HANA in terms of push down capability and leveraging more of the, the power of HANA. Um, 4.1 business objects is in ramp up as well. The universe has had a lot more HANA capability added to. So, you know, every new release is just more and more HANA. Um, it, I mean, yeah, it's central to what SAP are trying to achieve. I think it does change a lot of how you do um, BI. Um, 
Yeah, it's it's just in terms of adoption when customers are ready when they yeah. when they can uh, look at adopting it. So. And and I think maybe on that just briefly uh, because I, I saw you in session earlier in the in the conference and you were running a, a cloud instance of, of Hana. Yep. You know what, what would the, uh, the 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 selection be if a client want to play around with Hana? What, what sort of cloud options is there relatively cost effective that they could maybe go and, and sign up to now? Yeah, um, I mean, well, the the development license is provided free by SAP. I think that's a, a really great win for customers and and uh, really uh, applaud SAP for doing it. It's a really good move. And so if you're a, an individual, a customer, no matter who you are, you can go and, and sign up and get access to HANA through Amazon Web Services, uh, also Cloud Share. I know there's some other um, cloud deployment options as well, but they're the, kind of the two big ones that I know about. Um, so you can you can start up a free development version uh, instance of HANA or, or multiple ones if you really want to um, in Amazon, and all you're paying for is the Amazon uh, usage, right? So I mean, what's that like a dollar, two dollars an hour kind of thing? You're storing some data, but that's the only thing you're paying for, and you're only paying for it when you're using the instance. So great, perfect. So uh, just briefly looking at competitors, then just in, in the BI space, moving away from from HANA here, how is the competition at this stage? And do you think there's some some dangers for SAP out there now? Um, so I, I kind of split into two, two groups, either the kind of enterprise BI um, providers like uh, Oracle with OBIE and the BI apps uh, or IBM Cognos and, and Data Stage or Microsoft uh, with their SQL Server platform. Um, from that perspective, I think SAP are doing a really good job and they're probably ahead of all of those three vendors um, in terms of the enterprise um, platform. Uh, I think they're doing a great job, and, and they're really leading edge in terms of the like mobile capability, the in-memory database, you know, using HANA, those kind of things. It just leaps and bounds ahead of where the other vendors are at. Uh, and then you've also got competition from kind of like the niche vendors, like your Tableaus and your ClickViews. And I think SAP have um, have started to react to to what's happening in that space around the you know likes of Lumira Cloud and Lumira, and really giving more more tools back to the you know the the business user in a niche part of the business that they can do what they need to do. Um, maybe irrespective of what their enterprise BI platform is, so kind of a just uh, helping to address that that need as well in the market. Okay, so, so just looking at clients for a second, um, uh, how are they actually adopting to these new uh, products coming out? Do you, do you feel there's quite a warm ground to, to plant some seeds in, or, or how? Is yeah, it at definitely. Um, I, I get the chance to work with a lot of mining and oil and gas companies, being from Western Australia, which is very resource rich, and uh, as well as government and utility. Uh, and I, I get the opportunity to work with both traditional SAP customers um, who maybe have BW and I think from that side um, it, maybe adoption is a little bit slower in terms of moving from a BW centric view of the world to how does BW um, Bob J fit into where we want to go and what additional capabilities it's going to give us. Um, but I also get to work with a lot of kind of classic Bob J customers but even net new ones who have no BI solution and we help them implement business objects for the first time and help them realise value out of their data and that's really exciting uh, and, and they're very quick to adopt stuff especially if they haven't had much to go from you know we're installing the latest versions and they're playing with mobile and explorer and you know um, all of it great so so let's just continue a little bit on the client track so let's say a client came up to you tomorrow and, and said um, uh, Listen, I got some issues here, Joshua. I need some help. I want to invest money in my BI landscape. I'm running your your standard BW yep. product, uh, but what else am I now going to do with all of my business intelligence? Where would you advise that he go and invest at this point in time? Yeah, so uh, I think there's a couple of areas depending on the the kind of use case. One, if they're struggling with performance of BW, you know, Hana is the the migration. Uh, from BW to onto HANA is, is quite painless and it's been well documented about how to approach that um, and you're going to get some really great performance improvements. Uh, and the other then is then how do you maybe leverage the business object platform. You're getting a lot of capability around integrating non-SAP data sources so you know there's not very many organizations that only run SAP. So if you need to start to integrate multiple data sources, well then Business Objects is going to help you to do that. Um, but then some of the mobile capability that's coming out of the BI platform, just you, you just don't get that in BW. So you know, looking at Design Studio analysis for for OLAP for um, you know web um, analysis of your your BW cubes. There's some really great stuff there to explore. Very good. And, and uh, going now outside of clients, let's look at a little bit of a candidate. So let's say, um, again, similar scenario, let's say a candidate came up to you, and this guy is, is young in the BI world, mm -hmm. you want to get in there, you want to get into your, your position. Um, what would your advice be to him uh, on actually getting into this as a career? Yeah, uh, actually, I had a graduate come and talk to me the other day and we had this exact conversation. So uh, it, it's, um, 
in, in some cases, I think SAP could improve their development access to the BI tools. I know they're, they're working on that and, and they're getting better. So something like Lumira, you can now go and download the trial. You can get Lumira Cloud um, free access, right? Um, you can get BI on demand free access, which lets you, you know, upload some data and use Explorer on it. So there are ways you can do that. Um, I'd definitely be recommending to um, people new to this space to go and investigate what they can do with HANA, right? Because um, just learning uh, databases and SQL, but then also how an in-memory database works. There's the OpenSAP um, course running at the moment. You know, sign up to that and do that. that that's you know, some really great value about how our industry is changing and what's going to be coming down the line in the very near future for a lot of different vendors, not just, not just SAP. Um, I also had a friend who wanted to get into the space. I gave him Crystal Reports trial and said, if you can learn Crystal Reports and you know you can learn any other BI tool, because and and he 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 uh, did that and now he's a, a BI, senior BI consultant. He does predictive analysis and all that. It, so yeah, there's there's a few different things you can do. If you want to get into the space. And maybe just on that front, where, where would it be easy to start? Do you think it, it doesn't matter? Is it a consultancy where you're going to start with them as a as a, as a learner, or is there a possibility of starting with an end end client as well? Or, or yes, or I mean I, I started my career uh, with a customer, and I was there for six years before I moved on to being a consultant. Um, there's definitely pros and cons in both, right? As, as a consultant, if you can come on as a graduate, you'll probably pick up the tools very quickly and you'll get exposed to a lot of different scenarios and you, so you'll, you'll get the technical experience very quickly. Whereas on the business side, you're going to get a lot more experience around dealing with the business challenges of BI, which is a whole other story. So I think they both have benefits. If, just, if you can get a job, yeah, go for it. <laughs> cool. Okay, yeah. good. And then the very last question on today's agenda then is, uh, is obviously being an SAP mentor now. Um, which one of the SAP mentors would you say is your your all-time favorite? <laughs> um, I might kind of hedge my bets here a little bit. Um, I really enjoy uh, what John Reed does in the space with uh, and with Dennis Hallett, who's an alum as well. Th those guys are uh, fantastic at what they do and, and the content they put out on JDOD and they've now started up Diginomica. Really excellent. And um, also Graham Robinson, who's uh, you know local uh, to me as well. He's a, a really great example of, of some of the things he's helped achieve with SAP and helped advocate for customers uh, and get SAP to, to adopt, um, yeah. Great, well, thank you very, very much for, for attending, Joshua. Yeah, my pleasure, thank you. Have a good day.